No. No? Did you want me to? Yeah. I could sing something for you. Go ahead, sing something. Oh, Jess. The, re the reason we can raise so much money for Coats for Kids is we have a lot of illegal aliens working here uh, for nothing, and Paco Gonzalez is one of them. Thank you light up my life. You give me hope to carry on. You light up my days from three to seven and fill my nights. Bob Francis on after seven with song. Why we don't play songs on WTAM 1100. Why, why are you spinning the wheel? Because Jew. I like to spin. I don't know. Are you going to pick another one? You light up my life. And this is just, why I do the traffic. In know? just a few minutes, ladies and gentlemen, we will give away the restaurant. Tw over $2,500 in restaurant trade. We will give away in just a few minutes, okay? The last gift we give away tonight is the diamond earrings from Peter and Company Jewelers, okay? I also want, before we turn it over to the, uh, our musical rendition of the show tonight, I want Scott Schuler to stand up, okay? Scott Schuler is the one that provided the magic for you tonight. I don't know if you liked it or not, huh? How'd you like it? Just go to uh, scottschuler.com and you can hire him. Is that the right website? Yeah. ScottSchuler.com. You can hire him for any parties. Ma, how are you oh, doing, Ma? Oh, yeah, yes. Go take my mother a microphone. Hi, Mrs. Triv. What's that? Oh. <laughs> Hello, what do you want me to say? I don't know. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Tell everybody I'm... thank you for coming. Oh, I know. Thank you for coming. And I'm glad that uh, my son is on the radio. And I, I sometimes, I don't like what he says, so I shut him off. <laughs> Especially when he uses bad words. I say, forget it. I didn't raise you that way. Yeah, really. Remember that? <laughs> Aren't you going to talk? <laughs> no, I'm, you're doing fine, Ma. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm very thankful that you got me here and uh, to be with Tammy, and it's wonderful. And I'm glad I made such a beautiful baby boy. Yeah. Aww. Mm -hmm. Now he's a big baby. <laughs> got that? Who You're a big baby. Who, who is, uh, uh, just to ask, because your grandson Michael is drunk. Your son, Gary, is drunk. Uh-huh. Well, I, they, I they sure... all have pains, honey. Yeah. So they have to have something that it helps it. Tammy is drunk. Oh, she is not. I'm drunk. I think you are, yes. Ah! Very much so. Who's taking you home? My daughter, Mary Lou, your sister. Mary Lou? Mm-hmm. When's yeah. she coming? 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why? You See, Mary Lou doesn't show, we'll pick another ticket. No, 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 I can't take you home. Oh, okay. No, I'm going home with Mary Lou. Did you meet Dan Bobish? Yes. Huh? Hi. <laughs> yes, I met him. Is he scary looking? Well, he's, he's all right. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, he's like big. He's, he could hurt you. But his wife is beautiful. Yes. Yes. I don't know. You know, I've always wondered why, what Nicole saw in Bobish. You know what I mean? He's a good guy. That's yes. all. You Wait. don't judge uh, uh, the, the, the way he looks and everything. Yes. It's just because his personality. See? Right. Right, right? <laughs> yeah. He's big, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. Yeah. Do you want him to hurt anybody before you leave? No. No. no, no, no. We no. don't do that. Okay. No. <laughs> Did you meet the magician, uh, Scott Schuler, sitting next oh, yeah, to you? Yeah, we've been talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did he show you any card tricks? He showed me his wallet. <laughs> Scott, oh, I'll kick you your ass, that? seriously. What would you say that for? That's my mother, you idiot. <laughs> oh. He wasn't magic. It had a lot of money in it. Yeah. Yeah. Ma. 
Yeah, he gave me $100. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, it doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> and you people out there wonder why I'm nuts? <laughs> Look what I come from. Somebody very nice, honey. Yes. But I never taught you to swear. I used to wash your mouth out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But that didn't stop you. And then you go around uh, sneaking around Smokey <gasps> and look at that. Oh. Yeah. And then when I tell you you were sick, and I said, you're smoking, aren't you, you rascal? You said, no, Mom, no. And bleep, bleep. Bubbles come out. <laughs> Every once in a while when he talks, bubbles still come yes, out. That's right, 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 right. <laughs> How old was I? About. Two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. I, I, I think I just had you. <laughs> <laughs> because they told me you're going to walk out, so you walked out smoking. Yes. Ah! Yeah. Hey, Ma, tell everybody how old I was when I walked for the first time. Oh, you were over a year old. About, really? You just like to hang on to stuff, you know? Because you were chubby, you know? I was a... <laughs> chubby! <laughs> and you'd stand there, and then you almost were like uh, about a year and a half. Year and a half. And Gary, Gary, he started coming out of a, a pen, and he just looked over, and he started walking like crazy. And you, you were lazy. <laughs> But God bless you. You turned to be out a nice man, and I love you. I love Aww. you, love you, love you. I love Tammy and uh, my kids, Gary and Kelly. They're wonderful. Michael and Katie. I got a nice crowd. Really. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you. Now, now I got a ticket, and I, I only bought one. And uh, so um, I hope I get something from it. <laughs> and I'm trying to think of it. If it's up to you, you should get me the earrings. Could we take the microphone away from her now, please? She just took over your show, yes. Th thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, my mother. That explains a lot. <laughs> Quick little story, okay? My mother goes in. My mother is 87 years old, okay? My mother goes in for a colonoscopy. About six, yes, about six months ago. Well, how long ago? Two months. Two, three months ago. Yeah. Mark it in your calendar. Give or take. <laughs> <laughs> September 12, 3 p.m. <laughs> <clears throat> actually, I'm trying to be. I, I, I'm, actually, I'm trying to be serious here for one second. Uh, it'll be the last time I will be serious tonight, I think. My mother goes in for colonoscopy. They rip her intestines. My mother is laying in uh, intensive care for over a week with an oxygen tube down her throat. I really didn't think my mother was going to make it. My mother is back 100%. Ladies and gentlemen, give her a big round of applause. They, uh, uh, I guess the moral of the story, Russell, aren't you supposed to be on stage? What are you doing, pouring he's, concrete? He's passing out business cards. <laughs> so, oh, do, do you need something poured? Here I am, yes. The moral of the story is if you're older, don't get a colonoscopy, no matter what they tell you. I'm a bit dead serious when I tell you that. Russell. 
from the band Chance. He's standing in the back. Aren't you supposed? To, I'm, aren't I supposed to introduce Chance now? Yeah. Aren't you supposed to be on stage? Not the first verse. Are you drinking again? No, he's making a dramatic entrance. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen.